Hello guys, it is Cal, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. These challenge videos look amazing. I don't know who started it, but shout out to whoever started it. I've watched a few, and I'm totally inspired just because my makeup was horrid. I knew nothing about makeup, probably from 7th and 8th grade in middle school to freshman until the end of sophomore year. I didn't even wear foundation until I graduated high school, so I'm really excited to share with you guys the makeup I used to put on my face. And here's a video of me in eighth grade wearing makeup. And then here's a video, a video, a picture. And then here's a picture of me sophomore year of high school wearing makeup. Um, I used to have bangs. So you can't really see my eyes, but you can see my blush going on. It's just so embarrassing. These photos are hysterical. So without further ado, here we go. Since I didn't wear foundation, I used to take my concealer and I would stick my nails inside of a concealer so that it would come out like this on my nail. Like I would scoop it with my nail. So weird. And I would just only put this under my eyes, like so, with my finger. I would just go like this. And then I'd do the other eye. <laughs> and sometimes this concealer wouldn't even match my face. I'd go in, I'd take more, and I'd put it wherever I had zits, or I thought they were zits on my face, and I would just dab them out, like this. And I would leave blotches of concealer just stuck on my face. So bad. This shade doesn't even match me now. I would dab it out like this until it looks like that it would match my skin tone. And then after I would dab that in my face, I would take any loose um, foundation powder like this. So I went to Walgreens and I got the L'Oreal True Match. I used to use a different powder, but I couldn't find it at the store. So I would just take this, use this as my foundation for coverage and I would just go at it with a huge powder brush and just conceal my whole face and make it really dry looking in powder. I don't know why I liked that look, but I loved it. And I would add way more powder than I needed and it would always be paler than my normal skin color because I loved that look. My worst fear when I was younger is to be a cake face. It was literally my worst fear um, so I'd always make sure that whatever powder I would have would be two shades lighter than my actual face. So I would have a pale cake face. The coverage on this is actually pretty good. I'm not lying. Look at my face. But I would literally pack this on for maybe five minutes until I felt I was covered enough. And then once I would do that, I would go for my eyeshadow and I never used any eye primer or anything like that or I would never use um, brushes for eyes. So I would just go in with a random eyeshadow palette. I think I used to use a version of the Too Faced when I was in sophomore year of high school. So today we are going to dive in and I would always take a white shade first, just right with my finger. And I would go in, I would go in and just put it on my eye. Just really messy, I remember. I literally remember doing this, getting ready for school in the morning. And then I would take in whatever color I wanted next, which I usually would use a light pink color, and put it in the middle. And then on the outside, I would do a brown or a purpley brown color. So here, I would just put out my finger like this and dab it out in the corner just like this I can't believe I'm putting makeup on with my fingers right now it feels so weird once I would blend all that in I would take a black color I went through really dark eye stages and I would take a black color and just dab it on my finger and I would put it on my lid and I'd smear it on the lid but I loved the look of smeared mascara so I tried to do that effect to my eyes. And I'd put it right on top of the light pink. Weirdest thing ever, I know. This is so funny to do because I would do this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And I would smear it so that it looked like smeared mascara. Once I was done smearing it on my lid, I would look up and what's ever left of my finger, I would smear it underneath. What's so weird is I vividly remember wearing my eyes like this in 8th grade and I loved the way it looked because I thought it made my blue eyes pop. So that's why I would smear black 
around my eyes because I thought it looked so good. And then I would take, um, if you have any liquid liner, I would do the thinnest line of liquid liner on the top. Line the top. And then after I was done lining the top, I would go in with any other black dry liner. I used to put liner on my waterline super aggressively and I would never do it all the way in the corner because black stuff would get caught in the corners and I would never put it over there. So I'd only put it from here over and then same on this side. Oh my gosh, this is hysterical. My friends got me addicted to putting silver glitter on the lining of my top lash line. We used to get it at Victoria's Secret. It was the best, it was our favorite. We used to add silver lined glitter and we would wear it to school all the time because we thought it made our eyes sparkle. So I went to the drugstore and this is all the one I could find. And I would just line right above my black with silver glitter. It used to be way more intense than this too, which is so funny. I never wore bronzer, I would only wear blush because I thought bronzer was only for people who were originally tan. And since I was so pale, I was like, oh, I can't wear bronzer because I look like a cake face because I was so scared of being a cake face. This is the blush that I actually used to use. It is my mom's old Mac blush. I stole it from her cabinet. Oh my gosh, should I just get glitter up here? Oh, they aren't dry yet. So I would just take any brush. And as you guys can see, the pink is kind of carved out because I would try and use the brush only in the pink part because I loved the pink color, but I would literally just go like this. Right on the apples of my cheeks. I would never shake off the brush or anything. I would just go at it like this. And then for mascara, my friends and I would all try and get the clumpiest lashes ever so I would go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like this. And get a lot of mascara on there because I loved, loved the way it looked, which I would never do this now. And I used to put so much on the bottom lash. And then for my lips, I used to put on tinted moisturizers or tinted chapsticks. Um, I couldn't find the brand, I couldn't find the one that I used to use, but I know I have it back in my house in Chicago. It was the most interesting red color. It would make my lips super tinted, but in junior year and senior year, I used to wear pink, pet, pink plaid to school from MAC. So I'm just gonna put on a little of this because I never would wear a full color of lipstick because I thought it was too much. This is my finished makeup look on what I would wear to school. Mostly in eighth grade and freshman year, I used to wear my makeup like this. And then I definitely toned down a bit, but I was definitely into black smoky eyes and the glitter all across the top liner. I loved, loved that look. And then I used to have bangs, but when I didn't have bangs, I used to wear my hair to the part on this side and I would swoop it over like this. So that I looked like this at school. And I used to literally wear my hair like this and this was who I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel and comment down below what kind of makeup you used to do when you were in high school or middle school or whenever you decided to wear makeup if you did. But I love you guys. Have a marvelous day. Bye.